you can do it better with the other punch so if you're doing the light punch do the heavy it will it will make the combo so much easier you got it super yes yes that's how we do it, baby! Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, The Fights, back at it with another video. But if it's your first time here, definitely be sure to hit it, hit, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. Yo, we are doing something different today. So, uh, I've been jonesing to want to play with my arcade stick. If you guys have uh, hung out with me all the years that we've been creating content and doing gaming, uh, I've had an arcade stick. I'm not really great with it. I'm kind of a noob and I feel like one of the best ways of getting really good at your execution is Doing King of Fighters 13 trials. They're like the di most difficult trials ever So if you ever want to learn how to do good execution I feel like this is the game to master the craft of learning how to play with a joystick be just because it's so tight so I figured, as a noob as me, playing on an arcade stick, because I'm really good at fighting games, but I'm a gamepad player. Uh, let's see if we could do some King of Fighter trials using the joystick. Now, if you kind of see here, like we we know how to do inputs for the most part. We have really good. We have a good grasp of doing it, and I have like like uh, the Street Fighter Cross Tekken. With the sandwich joysticks, like it's it's really good. Like so, we have we have a good baseline. But let's see how we do. So it's let's we're gonna do low kick, low kick, and then it's standing, and then it's the half circle. This is gonna this is gonna it's already the first one's already ridiculous. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a long one, fam. Okay, okay, let's reset it. I know that this combo might cause issues in the corner. Ah, uh, that's it. Like, we literally have to attach it with that. Like, when we're raising up, when we're getting up, that's when we got to do the half circle. There we go. Okay, we did the first one. First trial done. <laughs> Took longer than expected. We're on to the next one. Okay. Okay, so we're on trial two. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so this is gonna be... Oh, it's not even anything complicated. It's like literally... That Hadouken with the kick. It's just neutral. Oh, I'm not getting it. And then a dragon punch in reverse with the kick. Okay. We narrowed that down without a problem. On to the next one. Let's see what we got here. Ah. And then what is that? Is it that? Is it really that? We, we're, we'll look at the demo if we're really confused after a while, but I think we're fine. We nailed that one. So far as a noob in the... Our cadestrial arts, <laughs> that's my way of saying arcade style. Aw, oh, damn. We were doing good. Okay, here we go. So I know in King of Fighters 3, you can do like a, a short hop. Or this allows to do the big one. Because I, I do remember somewhat where in like some of the demos, like you could do that. But we definitely do want to try to do the, the short hop. As if, like, we're trying to execute it, but if it becomes too difficult, we won't. Alright, so... Eesh. Oh, God. <laughs> this is gonna be so frustrating. <laughs> I will be cutting this video up, because I know some of them I'm gonna be spending an eternity on. But I'm going to put enough so you can see how much we struggle. Because we are trying to get this. Because what we have to do is that into the uh, original starting move. It does a 
So it does the grab, and I think there's a cancel. There's a cancel into, like, a kick. Yeah, you see, so instead of doing the, the fire explosion, we have to cancel it with the double kicks. Which is literally this. So it's going to be that, and then that, and then that. That's going to be annoying to attach at the end. Oh, it has to be an EX. It has to be the EX version. No! Because you see, it's like, you you have to like, after the half circle, you got to continue with the Hadouken motion and then do that one. Okay. That's my problem with the combos in King of Fighters game. So, you get this complicated part down, and then you just your fingers just stop. You're like, okay, I'm done. Oh, no way, I gotta continue. Psychologically, your mind stops, but you have to keep racing. That's like, that's so important. We are getting the, uh, the first three hits down pretty well, but we're not executing on the, the half circle. Interesting. I'm noticing that while I'm doing the half circle, when I press, when I'm at the halfway point, I do the kick and then I follow up finishing the circle. So what I do is kick, kick. So, does that make sense? So it's basically like we're doing the pre buffering, but it's like a, uh, a, a like, at least, I think we got the, we got the last part down. We got the last part down. We just got to do. You see, so we're, we're working backwards. We're working backwards because we weren't able to reach that end. So what I started to do was I started to break the combo down on ignoring the, the beginning part. Because the beginning part is annoying. Because we have to do the hat. We have to do this with that and then leading into the kick but let's work backwards because we're having the problem with that in the grip you see and now okay so we're gonna work like that so now we're doing literally 80 percent of the combo but we just got to do now with the jumping punch it's a very weird, like, but I feel like I'm being more successful learning the combo going backwards than actually forwards because the forward part is the tough part. And then it's like once you can start doing the attachments of the things that you're not able to practice because you don't get that far, um, once you have all those pieces, you're kind of traveling fo further. Um, it's almost as like, you know, you kind of have like writer's block in the beginning. That you can't finish the rest of the story. But instead, we're kind of just doing this, the parts of the story that we can't reach yet. So then it becomes second nature when we get to it. It's like we have to be calm after the jump combination, but you're in overdrive. It's a psychological thing where you actually can relax when you're up to this part to do that part. Like, there's actually some space in that window... But you do the jump, and for some reason, psychologically, I want to go faster. All the way, we got it all the way up, except the jump punch. We got this. We got it. Got it! That is awesome! I'm so happy we got that. That is so gratifying and that was so intense. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> so let's see what the next one is. Let's see what the next one is. Oh man.
All right, let's see if we can do this one. This is kind of tough. But like I said, guys, I, I tried to do the one. So, like, let's see if we can do this. This is going to be the toughest part. The attachment of the jumping light. The jumping light, you have to do it while you're descending and you're about to land. You can't do it up top because you're going to basically start going into block frames with the AI. So, you have to do it when you're at the bottom. That's going to be one of the toughest parts right there. Oh. Were we about to get that? Oh my god. Wait. Can I? That's a tough one right there. That's a... Oh, my God. Oh, my... My hand gets so tired just on that... That last part. And then I have to do the half circle backwards afterwards. Oh, I, I did the half circle backwards, but I wasn't on the ground yet. Oh, my God. That's a tough one. But I don't... I would probably have to start from here. Yeah. Oh, and that's, that, that's when we do it. Okay. Let's try to do the combo. That jumping kick. And you know what's the funny thing with these trials? Is that because the combos are so similar, muscle memory makes you want to do the previous combo you were messing with. Oh, the, the EX one didn't happen. Almost. EX. Go. Oh, he didn't do that. It's that, then it basically leads to that. Alright. EX. Go back. Ah! We were so close! We were so close! Blasphemy! The celebration! <laughs> Close. Oh, my God. All right, we got to figure this out. We got to figure this out. It still has... It has to feel fluent. It has to feel fluent to us. If it doesn't feel fluent, I can't I can't continue with the combo. That's fine. I'm not stressing if I don't do the attachment just because the person's technically not in the air, air at the time of us doing it. So I'm not expecting us to land the grab. But as long as we do it fluently off, coming off the ground, I'm okay with it. I don't want to think about it. That's... That's in essence what I'm trying not to do. Just make the, the combo flow instinctively, and that's good enough for me. I just need to be able to do the dragon punch into the super, and then follow it up with the grab. If, it do, if I don't see the grab when I come off the ground, then I didn't do it incorrectly. I did it incorrectly. That's what I'm supposed to do.
EX. Oh, come on! And the thing is, like, the, the real cool thing about training in King of Fighters with these things is, like, because these combos are so intensive, like, they literally become strenuous on your hands, while your hand is becoming strained, you try to find ways to be more efficient so your hand is actually resting more. So you can build more longevity. I, I, I don't know how to explain it, but the fur the more I play the game, the more my com the more my hand is like, I need to relax in these positions. I hope that makes sense to some people, but it's very interesting. Cause when you first start playing, you're very tense. You're very tense. It's almost like playing guitar. Like you actually have to be very loose if you wanna if you wanna strum the guitar with the strings and hit certain uh, notes and arpeggios really fast. You have to actually keep your hands very loose. And if you keep them rigid, like tense, because you want to get the combo, it, it, you actually underperform. But you can't keep them too loose. You can't keep them too loose. Because then you just get tired. <laughs> but you gotta... They have to They have, to have like... They, they gotta have some uh, blood circulation. They gotta. Like, you'll never start a combo with a light hit like that. You'll never do that. You'll always be doing the down H. Down H is like the prominent when you're rushing. But it, it's just for the trial that they do it. <laughs> I'm just finishing the string, even... Uh... Interesting. So, one thing I've learned... In this all this time learning is that when you use the other punch, it's more accurate. It's much quicker on its accuracy. You can do it better with the other punch. So if you're doing the light punch, do the heavy. It will it will make the combo so much easier. There we go. So I do the dragon punch with the light, and then I do the super with the heavy. That makes it successful. Let's try it. Let's now try it. Look at that. Look at We got it. We got this. Boom. 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 Oh, I felt it. I felt it. I felt it. <laughs> Was it Will first? I felt it in my plums. I felt it! There we go. We got it. Super. Yes! Yes! That's how we do it, baby! Mmm! Another one in the books. I like it. We're stopping there. We will do more on the next one. Let me know if you guys want to see more. Oh, that's so gratifying that we did that. We have a few more. Let me see how much more we have. I think we got like three more maybe for, for him. We're going to look at the trial menu. Actually, let's just do next, just in case it doesn't register that it didn't complete it, but... Oh, wait, hold up. Now we're going to see how much we have left. Trial list. Level 6.
All right. This is a good halfway point. We'll continue part two next time. Let me know if you guys want to see more. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, if this is your first time here and you're watching from YouTube, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you ever come to Twitch, definitely be sure to hit that follow button. Come join us on Discord. The link is below in the YouTube description. Also, last but not least, I want to say major, major, major shout outs to the sponsors. If you guys also wanted to financially support the stream, definitely be sure to check out that YouTube description below. There is a Patreon link. And if you can't support financially, don't worry, guys. There's other ways you can actually show support. That's getting the word out, sharing the content, letting friends and loved ones know about this uh this channel tell them to come and hang out come join us on discord you will not regret it it's the best community slash family ever it says it right there on the freaking board yo thank you guys so much for hanging out i love you guys so much and i will catch you guys next time let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next what you think about the video and so on i'll catch you guys next time see ya